Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. Guys, it's an incredibly bullish day for crypto today. There's so much happening. It's absolutely mental. And I'm so bullish, I've got my bull ring on right there. Absolute facts. Anyway, we've got updates in relation to Ripple and a potential you know, discussion with the SEC coming up literally tomorrow in Australia. Today, obviously the 20th, we're a day ahead. So this is happening on the 20th. This usually happens every single month as well. But there could be a potential uh, settlement talk there, which is really interesting as well. Updates in relation to VeChain. There's new staking that's been released by Binance. We've got updates in relation to Luna Classic as well, Do Kwon, MicroStrategy. It's crazy. I've got an interview as well with all these senators in the United States talking about, you know, potential securities. However, I'm going to get into all that. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it, guys. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are just getting started. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up down, down there, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I own only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like that in the blink of an eye in crypto, all right? So please be careful out there. Do your own research and to diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Let's go straight to the community tab. There is literally so much happening today. It's crazy. And uh, this is no joke, all right? So I literally had a dream last night that I actually bought a Gulfstream G700 jet. Um... And I actually vividly remember that I was getting, you know, once I placed the order for $200 million, don't ask me why so much, but $200 million, I got an email, a welcome package and a welcome gift bag that I actually purchased the jet. And uh, then I woke up. So that was an actual dream. You know, when you have those real vivid dreams, that was real. Anyway, crazy stuff. Morning, obviously this morning, my altcoins that were up, obviously Rose, you had Electronium, ETN, Matic, Theta and Win. They were the ones up in my portfolio. Now let's go to CoinSpot to have a look what's going on in the Aussie dollars right here, guys. I use CoinSpot. Uh, in Australia. So please feel free to use the referral link below. You will get $10 in Bitcoin, of course. And uh, let's just have a look here, guys. I'm not too sure what's going on here and why this is uh, gone like this. But okay, here we go. Um, all the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to USD because I'm cater catering for everybody around the world and especially my Aussie fans. So all the prices you see here are in Australian dollars. Everything else is set to US dollars. So I'm catering for everybody. Now, let's go through my favorites. Bitcoin sitting at $30,000 Australian. It's around about 19,000 US dollars right now. And I think this is the bottom. I don't think it's going to go to four to five K because if it does, I'm definitely buying it straight up. No questions asked. All right. I don't think that's going to happen. But Ethereum's at $2,092 today. You've got XRP up slightly as well. We could see a very interesting meeting taking place tomorrow. So going to get into that as well. 75 cents, very undervalued. Cardano's at 57 cents as well. Battling it out with XRP, to be quite honest. Solana's at $46 right now. I do not hold Solana, believe it or not. Dogecoin at $0.09. Cents. You've got Matic at $1.35. I'm going to scroll these quickly, guys. Lynx at $11. you got XLM at $0.18 cents as well. New Protocols at $4.60. Quant. Uh, sorry, Algorand's at 50 cents. Quant is at 284, guys, which is nice. All right, slowly coming back down, which is a good buying opportunity, in my opinion. I don't think these levels will be around for very long because this is going to go skyrocketing back up again. I mentioned yesterday on KuCoin that they actually ran out of Quant, which is insane. Uh, anyway, VeChain, of, sorry, uh, Luna Classics is up 0.08% today. Still holding my Luna Classic. There's some interesting stuff happening with that. VeChain is still at 3 cents. Even though there's a very bullish announcement coming out, I'm going to get to that in a second. Hedera is at 9 cents as well. Uh, we've got, guys, Aave obviously up uh, slightly today, 0.9% to $134. Mana and Sandbox, $0.98 cents and $1.19. I'm still holding both of these because I think the metaverse is still going to be massive. Uh, what else we've got here, ladies and gentlemen? We've got Theta at $1.59. Axie Infinity sitting at $16. I will buy some Axie Infinity because I'm staking that, earning some insane returns. All right, 78% APY. 
Uh, we've got IOTA at $0.39. Cents. Neo's at $12. We've got Helium at $7.50. Moving down, you've got Casper again at $0.06. Cents, very undervalued. Engine at $0.68 cents as well. XDC still holding very strong above $0.05, cents, which is really nice as well. And everyone loved my video yesterday on Reef. Um, again, this is undervalued in my opinion at $0.01 cent right now. Down 3.94%. Very, very bullish on Reef. I think this is going to be a crazy asset. It's going to go to $8 in probably the next few years. I'm happy with that. I'll wait. And obviously, you've got Alliance Block down 11% to $0.12 cents as well. Got in early with this one. I documented that and I bought it, which is good. And of course, we have XYO, another gem that I absolutely love, guys. Up in the green today, 0.49%. Again, still, you know, 0.009 undervalued geospatial tracking technology. Go and have a look at it. It's crazy anyway. Let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And guys, before I do, join the Wall Street Bull University on Patreon. It is linked below straight up. I'm building a very bullish community, guys, of serious investors. I talk about all my buys, my sells, my trades, my dividend stock investing, business life all stuff guys join up it's very bullish right link is below don't wait it's incredible you will not regret it let's go to crypto bubbles right here guys everything is in the red at the moment and i love this all right straight up obviously the only ones we've got again hoibi token is still in the green i don't know exactly what's going on with hoibi token but 1.8 percent on the day 70.5 percent on the month and obviously the only other one green on the day is trust wallet up 2.4 15% on the on the week and 17.8% on the month. Still very good. But I like to do this, guys. When there's red, I like to buy straight up. There's some assets here, guys, that are on the cheap right now, and it goes and fluctuates right now. So this is the time to buy, in my opinion, to dollar cost average. But if I still go up basically on the week, top gainers, you've got Maker, Casper, Quant, Lido Dow, Hoibi token again, Synthetics. Uh, again, I'm not too bullish on that one, but you know, they're bringing some really interesting stuff to the market as well with traditional stocks, which you know could be bullish. Are they as well? But that's pretty much it, guys. And let's just do something really crazy, right? Let's go to the year, obviously the month, sorry. Let's go and have a look at some crazy stuff. So we've got Quant is the biggest gainer of the month. Casper XRP, which is nice. Ethereum name service, XDC, Trust Wallet, Uniswap, and Huobi token, again, are the biggest gainers for the month. Now, moving on to the news, all right? So this uh, was pointed out by... Um, coach jv which again i love his channel and i love his you know what he does awesome stuff man so he pointed this out on twitter and i did get the actual uh us sec's website right here there's a sunshine act notice right here so obviously the sec commission obviously is having a meeting at 2 p.m on thursday october 20th apparently this does happen quite regularly every single month however i just want to point out that there is some interesting stuff right here guys the subject matter of closed meeting will consist of the following topics right here and this is close to the public institution and settlement of injunctive actions aka ripple and scc institution and settlement of administrative proceedings resolution of litigation claims and other matters relating to examinations and enforcement proceedings it's going to be very interesting to see if actually ripple attends this meeting or if there's any discussions there about ripple i don't know there is a phone number there i'm not going to go tell you to dial it because i'm not a u.s citizen and it's probably going to be uh, very late here in australia but that is happening tomorrow so could we be seeing some sort of settlement action here i don't know i just want to point out as well that ripple can settle with the sec at any time this happens all the time you can settle what they call at the door literally on you know you can settle anytime or at the door of the courtroom literally you can settle before you even walk in it happens all the time all right even from personal experience now ripple whales have bought over obviously 300 million xrp within months guys this is insane all right straight up so xrp price has faced a significant down, a drawdown as the ripple sec legal battle continues ripple whales have accumulated close to 300 million xrp over the last few months Still, there was no notable growth in XRP delay active addresses to support a bullish breakout right here. But this is crazy, all right? Whales have been buying and accumulating XRP and obviously are prepping for the big win. You can see right here. So Ripple Whales, XRP investors and traders, as well as the XRP price have been at the mercy of the direction that the Ripple versus SEC case takes. And uh, as two year long legal battle continues, XRP price has faced a significant drawdown from its 2018 all time high $3.40, which again, I b strongly believe will smash straight through that once this case gets you know done and dusted. It literally is going to take off. Facts, all right? So again, I, I believe that the whales are buying up as you can see right here. And I think I am definitely going to be doing that as well, because once this case is over, you will never get a chance to buy XRP at its current levels. Now, 
Obviously, guys, there's a very interesting interview I'm going to play you on Twitter as well. Now, it goes to say that, you know, Ripple basically is raising funds from retail investors. That is not the case, right? Straight up. You can see here on Crunchbase, um, they had had significant investments from many, many different investment firms and venture capital firms. You know, Tetragon Financial Group right here, guys, 200000 It was actually $250 million raised. And we can see here, guys, SBI Investment was a massive investor. We have Google. We have, you know, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. I mean, these guys actually put the money in before retail did. So there you go. I mean, that just clears out that that whole nonsense that um, this interview I'm going to play you as well. And you'll see in a second. So stick stick with me right here. And again, the UK Ripple customer owned by Visa, chosen by Integrated Finance as the best FX provider right here. Which, again, just another reason why I love Ripple and XRP. According to a recently published piece by the pay, uh, papers right here, UK-based Ripple customer Crypt Currency Cloud has been chosen uh, by the obviously integrated finance. This is a financial infrastructural uh, infrastructural platform that provides fintech companies with access to financial services and integration workflows. Besides, it offers integration of the foreign exchange services, FX, uh, to ba payment platforms providing banking solutions, which is really nice as well. So the latter has picked Currency Cloud as the foreign exchange FX partner. This partnership with Currency Cloud will enable integrated finance clients to set up trans trans uh transnational payments and forex functionality on their platform seamlessly uh seamlessly right here at a low cost in the future and uh guys check this out aside from these uh, benefits customers of integrated finance will be able to provide their clients with simple procedure for integrated financial infrastructure like know your customer kyc and transaction monitoring will allow these companies to land new customers within weeks not months and this is all to do with xrp i mean cross-border payments foreign exchange it's all going to be moved to the XRP ledger, and obviously XRP is going to be used for that. Now, Terra's Do Kwon, what is this guy doing? So Do Kwon apologizes to Luna victims, insists he is not on the run. Where's all that money there, mate? Anyway, so Terraformer Labs, Do Kwon, has insisted that he is not on the run, despite the red notice being issued against him by Interpol. Speaking during an interview of Laura Shinride here, the Unchained podcast, Tuesday, Kwon, who declined to state his exact location, stating for security reasons, obviously because people want want him, obviously, uh, clarified that he moved to Singapore, Singapore before the terror collapse, which saw roughly $60 billion evaporate in May. There is no reason with any, why any government official would believe we fired... Uh, flight fled to Singapore, right? Hickpon said, I don't know if they intended to mislead or if it was a simple mistake, but there's just simply too many things that are not true that are coming from the Korean side round. And he went on to clarify that none of his assets of those of the LFG Lunar Foundation Guard uh, had been frozen by crypto exchanges, OKX and KuCoin following the issuance of the arrest warrant against Quan on September 14th. So it's really interesting right there. So he basically... Uh, there were two exchanges reportedly froze 3,313 Bitcoin worth $67 million. That is insane. Who knows what's going on there? But there is stuff happening with the devs. All right, so Terra Classic developers, the devs lower burn tax rate in a bid to revive on-chain activity, which is really interesting as well. So the Terra Classic blockchain contributors have reduced the so-called burn tax levied on all classic Terra tokens right here. So the contributions adjusted the tax rate from 1.2% down to 0.2% due to former, uh, you can see here, the former rate being considered a, a, to prompt a drop in the network activity. So this is happening right now. Came into force at 8.50 a.m. Eastern time today. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Terra Classic as well. Moving down, you've got MicroStrategy financial health at risk after enormous $3.4 billion Bitcoin bet, Fortune reports. So since MicroStrategy's pivot to Bitcoin, the company has managed to accumulate 130,000 Bitcoins worth over $3.4 billion at the current rates, which is just madness. Uh, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin acquisition was financed through multiple debts and bond offerings. Bitcoins dipped to 18,000 on the 13th of October may have temporarily jeopardized the company's financial health. MicroStrategy's first debt repayment is due on 17 months, where Sailor will be required to pay $855 million. Wow. According to the Fortune report, the company's core software business is generating very little cash flow and its Bitcoin interest loan repayments uh, may negatively affect its cash flow. Imagine if he can't repay a $855 million loan. I don't even want to think of the interest. That is just madness. Anyway, this is an interesting one here, guys. Aptos Labs demands Binance to hold APT listing right now. 
Aptos Labs right now, has uh, obviously a firm behind the APT token, has urgently demanded the Holt listing of APT token. Then this need for the Holt came after Aptos tokenomics were accidentally revealed. Hence, the company has called for temporary Holt in the token listings. Very interesting right there. I've seen so many people talking about that one as well. And uh, JP Morgan hires ex Celsius executive as head of crypto regulatory policy. What do you think about that one? Let me know in the comments below, guys. JP Morgan's a monster. And of course, we've got Bitcoin could be entering an unstoppable maturation stage, says Commodity Veteran right here, guys. So I believe this. So Bitcoin may be entering an unstoppable maturation stage, BI crypto. The fact that Bitcoin didn't exist in October 2007, when the WTI crude oil rose to its current $84 a barrel for the first time, may indicate the appreciation advantage of the nascent technology, he said. And again, I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. I have been for it since 2017 when I've still been holding it. Now, CryptoMeter.io, I'm going to quickly go through this, guys. Money has been flowing into XRP, Polkadot, and Reef. No brainer. Uh, we've got some other ones here, guys. Carver as well. Bitcoin, of course. And that is pretty much it. Let's go to Twitter to see what's going on here, guys. And I just want to show you very interesting as well on TradingView. Literally, Bitcoin has been trading sideways for months. I mean, look at this. I mean, I just need to zoom out straight up all right so again sideways since july uh basically it's been like that so again i think this is the bottom nineteen thousand usd that's my opinion now let's go to twitter and again i'm at the wall street bull oz guys follow me on here that's my username make sure you get it all right and also follow me on all social media as well make sure you follow the usernames v chain binance us for providing a new way for our v fam in the united states to secure and store their vet tokens while maximizing the vtho generation right here obviously the gas pay to obviously vet holders right here guys so you can stake your v chain on binance and uh, in the united states only i'm not sure about any other platform at the moment and uh, Jennifer Acuri right here. And first they tell you it's bad. Then they sue. Then the, the, obviously next they regulate and eventually they adopt the technology. It's all over train stations in New York. So if you're in New York right now watching this video, go and have a look. Um, again, I'm not sure exactly where this is. This is saying Canary Wharf. There you go. Go and have a look and see if there is. Now, we are bringing more Web3 to Japan thanks to our collaboration with B Tracks right here. This is bullish. Web3 is going to be huge, all right? So basically, creators are going to be the ones in control, unlike what it is now with Web2, meaning like Facebook and all that kind of stuff control us. We're going to tr control our own content, which is going to be insane as well. CoinSpot, my favorite exchange, is introducing a CoinSpot MasterCard. I might get this just to document it, so we'll see what happens as well. Moving down, guys, Fidelity will allow institutions to buy, sell, and trade Ethereum on its current, obviously, crypto platform starting October 28th, which is nice as well. And uh, Stefan Huber, thank you guys. There you can see all 53 Freedom of Information Act requests regarding the Hinman since January 2021. On average, the SEC receives a, a request regarding the Bill Hinman every 10 days, and they must uh, process and respond to right here. This is insane. Look at that. And they still don't want to release anything, guys. What are they hiding? What do they have to hide? I don't know. Crazy stuff. Now, there is an interview right here, guys. I'm not going to play all of it, but I'll play a little bit of it just so you can see here and have a listen to this crazy BS that this, these people are saying. All right, straight up. So what's the second reason why you're not a big XRP bull? Uh, the second biggest reason is I think that there is a real chance that XRP could be declared a security by the SEC. I don't know for sure, uh, but based on the most recent statement where the SEC talked about Ethereum not being a security, they mostly pointed out that the that the... Ethereum network was decentralized enough that you could no longer claim that when someone was purchasing Ethereum, that they were doing so with the expectation that there was a specific group that would be working to advance the Ethereum network and uh, increase its price. And you think in the case of XRP, the fact that they have a relationship with Ripple or Ripple Labs that is, is the problem? Yes. So when you look at the Howey test, there's, there's uh, four prongs to it, right? There's uh, it needs to be pooled capital, so you need to raise some money. Ripple does this through their sales. They sold $150 million a quarter of XRP tokens out of their treasury. So they are raising money from the general public. Second, it needs to be for a common enterprise, right? So Ripple Inc. provides that enterprise because Ripple Inc. is solely and predominantly responsible for marketing 
the Ripple products that use XRP and give the XRP token any value. Without Ripple Inc., the XRP token is worthless, absolutely worthless. Um, I'm based on kind of the SEC's guidance from a couple weeks ago about Ether being not, a, not being a security. I'm not going to play all of it there, guys. There is an interview there with Senator Loomis and Gillibrand right here. And uh, obviously, thank you, Digital Asset Investor, for this video. I just want to point out all right, some absolute facts. Ripple did not raise capital from retail investors. They raised 250 or even $290 million from IDG Capital, uh, Muro Capital, SBI Investments, Bill and Glinda, Melinda Gates Foundation, Tetragon Financial, Route 66, PMT Ventures, Standard Chartered, and even Google Ventures as well. So go look that up on Crunchbase. You will see it for yourself. All right. So again, this dude completely off. This is what I call FUD. I'm not listening to any of this. All right. Absolute facts. I'm not. So... Now, obviously, you've got Justin Brazil's new bank announces plans to launch its own crypto for their rewards program. Interesting as well. The average 30-year mortgage rates hits 7.22%, a 22-year high. I mentioned this yesterday, guys. This is happening around the world. I think there is a massive recession coming, a massive financial crash because people are not going to be able to sustain these high interest rates. They're just not. All right, it's unsustainable. People can't even afford to go and eat food, let alone pay their mortgages. All right, so there's something big is happening right here, and I don't know if this is intentional. It probably is. You know, you will own nothing and be happy, pretty much. This, I think, this is what's coming straight up. Twenty thirty, go look it up. Crazy stuff. Anyway, and is right here. What conflict of interest? Binance and Coin Market Cap, of course. Binance owns Coin Market Cap, and uh, obviously, you can see there, Binance is number one and Coinbase is number two. And I prefer Binance over Coinbase because Coinbase has got some seriously corrupted stuff. You've got Tim Draper and Rosie Rios right here, guys. Former Treasurer of the United States. And Tim Draper, well, he's just bullish on crypto, which is insane as well. Eleanor Tarrant right here. This is unbelievable. Look at this, right? So the SEC IG report confirms reporting back in May. The SEC is seeing the highest attrition rate in 10 years right here. So most concerning is the um, attrition rate in senior officer and attorney positions about 20.8% and 8.4% FY financial year 2022 respectively. SEC leaders with nearly 50 years experience quit under Gary Gensler. The dude needs to go straight up. And Coach JV, love your work, mate. Um, this was sent to me by Short Squeeze Ape. And uh, there is a closed door meeting with the SEC and Ripple tomorrow, which is interesting as well. Also just got wind that there are rumors, key rumors of a settlement tomorrow as well. We'll, I'm sure we'll find out, wake up one day, it's just going to go boom, straight up crazy. Now, thank you, JV, for that one. Crypto or coin market cap right now, let's have a look at the total market cap, $912 billion, $85 billion USD in total volume, 39% BTC, 17% Ethereum, 12, 21,400 cryptocurrencies, that is insane. This is my crypto portfolio right now, and the top gainers today, Electronium, Kin, Omi, I don't know what's going on with that on coin market cap. I need to probably switch it over to the ERC version. Don't know. XYO, Rose, Gas, Pipple, and blah, blah. That Pipple is just a gamble. That was just a bit of fun. Just saying, don't go and invest in that, please. Uh, and of course, where my money's going at the moment, Reef for sure. I'm bullish on that one, guys. Trying to get as much as I can because when that goes, that's going to go. XRP, obviously, guys. XLM, XDC, Ethereum. I'm not going to buy any more ETH. Cardano, Algorand, IOTA, Hedera, Chainlink, AVAX is one I need to add to the portfolio. Quant, Casper, and Alliance Block. That is where my money's going. That's it for today's video, guys. But uh, honestly, we're into some pretty crazy times at the moment. There's a massive transition happening. And uh, guys, honestly, whales are buying XRP and I will as well because I think there's a massive settlement coming straight up. That's just my opinion. Anyway, thank you very much for today, guys. Make sure you follow me on all socials and join the Patreon. Would love to talk to you in there as well. All right, stay safe. We'll speak to you soon. Peace out. Bye.